This Sunday will mark one year since the shootings at the Tree of Life Synagogue, the worst attack on Jews in this country ever. But a new report shows the attack was not isolated. The Anti-Defamation League says there's a rising tide of anti-Semitic threats and violence. KDKA's Andy Sheehan looks at the numbers. For decades in America, it seemed that anti-Semitism had gone away, or at least gone underground. But violence against Jews rose sharply last year, culminating in the massacre at the Tree of Life. I grew up in a world uh, that was safe, that uh, where anti-Semitism was, if it existed, was never seen or heard about. And we're now back to a world where it exists, it raises its head and its voice, and it yells loudly from the rooftops. According to a report by the Anti-Defamation League, anti-Semitic incidents doubled last year as 59 people were assaulted, including the 11 fatalities and two injured congregants at the Tree of Life. That was up from 21 people assaulted in 2017. The report notes more than 1,000 incidents of harassment and 774 incidents of anti-Semitic vandalism. Hate other people who are not like us. Stephen Cohen, the co-president of the New Light Congregation, says that white supremacist loners find each other on the Internet and trade in old anti-Semitic prejudices and more often now resort to violence. We need to pierce this veil of anonymity that exists. When you say something and you're not responsible for it, that's where the problem lies. One year after his fellow congregants were murdered at the Tree of Life, he is not one who believes that love is the answer. Love to me is, is, is not the answer. Uh, the answer is to be prepared. Um, every synagogue in town now has a security guard. Every church has a security guard. That's the world we live in today. And so after decades underground, anti-Semitic hate has risen to the surface in a spike of violent incidents with few answers to defuse it. At the Tree of Life Synagogue, Andy Sheehan, KDKA News.